Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to the Fortune Street playthrough. It's Wednesday, which means we have easy rules in Dragon Quest, and today we're going to continue on with the special tour. This time, though, we're going to be doing Colossus. Kirill and Elena are back, and also back is our favorite, favorite, favorite person to despise... Princess Peach, the S rank. Not looking forward to this, but let's go ahead and get it over with, I suppose. So, here we are, the Colossus. Now, like I mentioned in the uh, last video of Alephgard, I am not a very big fan of this map. I think this map is one of the, if not the, hardest map of the Dragon Quest series, at least in my opinion. Mainly because of the frustrations that exist from the um, yellow buttons that we'll have to deal with again. Because yes, we will have to deal with that again. And this time it's the most annoying mechanic because it literally has to freaking deal with a big part of the map. Basically, whenever you hit this button, uh, the two squares that surround it on both sides will actually switch with uh, these squares over here. So yeah, basically you could have a line of properties over here that will keep on switching between these properties. And I think it kind of goes with, uh, okay, maybe it's three squares then, because that way you include these actual lines along with it. Okay, yeah, that does make sense. So... Yeah, basically, whenever you hit the button, these two little strands will switch. And sometimes you can get knocked over here, but you actually have to go over here at some point. Or wait, do you? Yeah, you do, because uh, you can only get the clubs when you're on these other islands, so... That makes things a little annoying, as you could probably tell, but let's go ahead and get started. Oh, there's also backstreet squares, too. I guess you could also use those, but... Either way, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, starting out with a 5. Okay, we got a 300, we got a 250, we have a 100, and we have a 120. I think we'll be going with the 300. That seems like a good idea to me. We haven't seen Kirill in a very long time. We haven't seen him since uh, the observatory back in uh, the second week of this project. Or actually, it was the third week, but, you know, the second easy rules board we did. Elena we've seen a few times, and we know how uh, famous she is for stupidly buying out stuff. Which means she's probably going to show off the same exact behavior again. So uh, let's look let's look forward to that, I guess. And then of course we have Peach. Peach honestly really isn't too bad on easy rules though, because Peach's biggest problem is when stocks getting or when stocks get involved, because that's when she becomes uh, pretty dangerous, as you guys might expect. So uh, hopefully we won't have to deal with that just yet. Also, heel slime appears, which is really nice. Which means I can actually get the club very early on, and I can actually go around and get a quick promotion. Of course, that also means that uh, the other guys can do that too. And unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to take advantage of him now. Nope, unfortunately not. Well, maybe I can run into him again. We'll see. Okay, ten. Okay, that works for me. I don't think it actually changes the price of the shops, though, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have to just buy a shop normally. Oh, well. At least I'm starting off with, uh, the most properties, but... Eh, so far Kirill is doing okay, I guess. And yeah, he grabbed the club, I should've known. That is kind of annoying that we will have to deal with that, and, uh... 
I don't know, unless Elena gets tricky here and actually manages to get over to uh, Heal Slime. I think Kirill might be the only one who actually get to take advantage of him. But we'll see. Maybe I can get around in time to get another square from him, maybe. Also, should have known that we'll all have to compete for basically this section right here. That'll make things interesting. Okay. I'll take that. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. This will give me the first official lead of the game, of the game which I very much appreciate. And that'll also help me out too, so thank you very much, Elena. Okay, see, this is actually going pretty well so far. I know it's still extremely early, but hey, good start is always good. And yep, Peach goes to the uh, section over there, which could be a bad thing. If you do get sucked into one of those sections, it's always well advised that you kind of have first pick over properties. Because you never know what um, your rivals are going to be able to pick up in that section. Okay, thank you. He actually went in a good direction for me for once. Just got to get a really high roll right here, and that is going to do it. Which means I can... Oh, looks like I'm going to pick up the club, but then... I'm going to be going over there anyway, so... That's very, very unfortunate, but... Hey, whatever. Might as well deal with it. And... Yeah, because hearts are right there, I'll go ahead and get the club anyway. So, yes. There we go. Stuck in the uh, back streets. That's very, very unfortunate. Especially now that Kirill is going to pick up some properties over here, but again, I'm not too worried about it just because uh, I'm by myself right now. It would be uh, not in my best interest if I. Um, If I'm there with other people, so that's good at least, I guess. And hey, I may be able to pick up another uh, suit, a uh, suit yourself card from uh, Mr. Heel Slime again. That'll be nice. Okay, maybe not. Well, why was he facing the other direction, though? His arrow was pointing the other direction. Do I get a... No, you don't get a choice. I guess it was just kind of the game... Not, not really glitching, but the game being programmed a different way. That probably explains it. But anyway, I'm actually on the road back to uh, the bank now, so I can get my first promotion. Didn't get to really make use of my time over there in uh, the back streets, but... That's okay. Not too worried about it for right now, at least. I would say that quick promotions are going to be the key to victory, but honestly, the key to victory is pretty much the same every single time. Can't really say much beyond that, in all honesty. Also, I just realized that, yeah, Peach never got her, uh club, so she basically wasted a turn getting over there. Which, that sucks for her, but hey, I don't want her to win. <laughs> okay, this is actually good, because I might be able to get a suit yourself card if he doesn't go away. Okay, yes, he's staying. Perfect. Woo! Alright, cool. Suit yourself card, which means I don't have to, uh, 
go over to the back streets next turn. But the thing is, like, you can't really avoid going to the back streets, I think, because essentially if you want to get all the suits, we only have to go there anyway. But also because, like, that button is going to be pressed like 15,000 times. And when it's pressed, yeah, both sides change, so that's going to cause a lot of problems. Yeah, Elena's kind of getting a head start over there, which is not good. Okay, it looks like you got a 7, which that's kind of lame. But, yeah, she grabbed the... Why'd she go that way? Yeah, Peach, what the heck? Why didn't she go towards the heart? You know, something you could have actually used. Don't really quite understand her move there. Well, hey, if I'm... Okay, now he went that way. I think he's going to go away now, too. Yep. Bye, Heel Slime. Thanks for uh, giving me lots of stuff. I really appreciate it. Uh, four. I'm not going to land on a land of space, so let's... Uh, Improve production. Okay, that gave him his first promotion. Good for you, Kirill. Good for you. And yeah, I was not surprised that he actually ended up buying that. That makes sense to me. He would definitely buy something over landing on my property, that's for sure. Oh god, that's not good. Yep, it looks like Elena is going to start uh, monopolizing that back street. Thankfully, they're very weak properties, but still. They're weak properties, but on the other hand, it's a line of five, and... Uh, a line of five is the most expensive, or the most, the biggest line you can get in this board, so... That's going to be a problem if we don't look out for that. I could buy that out, but no, that's too expensive for right now. Maybe later. If I landed on a Peaches Square, then yeah, I probably would have done it, but... Nope, not yet. Maybe later, maybe later. Okay, please don't get a one. Please don't pull a... Oh my god. She's pulling a Birdo. She's pulling a Birdo like in the last board. That's kind of annoying. Well, again, their shops are only going to be in the 40s and 50s, so it could be worse. Wait, no, no, they're not gonna... Yeah, they're gonna be in the... Yeah, that was gonna be 108, that's right. I didn't do my math correctly right there. That's right, I'm a computer science student and I can't do math. Blah, blah, blah. No, I can't. I can do math, it's just that... You know, when you're in the middle of commentary, you don't always think ahead. I mean, that's kind of common sense, like you're not focusing on doing math correctly, you're focusing on the game. I know this game was heavily math based, but still, it's honestly what happens. Oh, come on, really? Kirill? I'm not liking Kirill right now. Kirill's actually uh, putting me in a very bad position. Plus, I'm kind of hoping that Elena stays over there. That'll be nice. It's 
So I'm definitely going to want to stay away from that left side of the map. That left side looks kind of dangerous. Well, maybe half dangerous is a better way to say it, because I do have some things working out for me. Also, five. Mm, no, let's go this way. I... Hmm. I feel like doing something different this time, so let's uh, expand upward. Ooh, okay, cool. Got the big commission. I love when I get a big commission. Because it's so big. Are you going to buy that out, Kirill? Because if you do, I'm going to... Okay, good. So apparently my commission is 75% because I got 21 from a 28 property. That's pretty cool. That is a really big commission. Not going to lie, a very big commission. Okay, half price special. Uh, looks like she's going to be expanding some of her shops. Yep. Naturally she would, and yeah, because she's a uh, B rank, she's going to expand that to a very big property, so... Ooh, maybe... Maybe maybe Peach can actually, uh... Not bankrupt her, but put her in the negatives. It's possible. She spent a lot of money on that property, so... And if she does that, she'll have to auction some off, and... Auctions are really, really easy to win in this game, as you guys know. Wait, where's the diamond? Oh, okay, the diamond's down there. Well, it looks like I have to go around again because of a small mistake I made. That's okay. I'm not too worried about it. I am worried about that, though. <clears throat> I was not too crazy about him expanding that. Okay, Elena, let's lose some money, please. That's actually not good. Oh, no, she can't. Okay, she's not going to spruce anything up. Okay, Peach, you have to do something for me here. Well, I know what she's going to do now. Yeah, she's, of course, going to go back over here. Because, naturally, Peach wants to go home. She has all the suits, there's nothing keeping her over there. Well, one thing I can do is I can buy them out right here. Uh, what's the difference? 850 and 800. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the 850. I mean, no matter what, he's going to make the other one more expensive over time anyway, so I might as well grab that one while I can. Unfortunately, yeah, a lot of these properties are really, really weak. I think the back streets are where the biggest money can be gotten. Are you going to buy that out? He has a C rank, it's possible. Okay, no. He's waiting, he's waiting for a bit. I'm fine with that. Lose your cash! Nope. Well, that's gonna help her out, though, my god. <clears throat> Shouldn't have to spend anything to do that. Okay, this is where I am kind of worried because Peach does have a buying out tendency. And that looks cheap enough to buy it out. Thank God she didn't. Whew! I guess it didn't really help her anyway, but still, with Peach, you never know. Oh! Okay, sure. I know, getting kind of risky with buying two things out on one go-around, but... 
That's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do in this game. You just really gotta push yourself. Yep, I knew. I knew he was going to expand that. That just... That was logical. That was completely logical. I am not surprised in the least bit. Now we just need Elena to, uh... You know, basically work with us here. Work with us and lose all of our money. That seems like a good plan to me. Okay, don't go to the back streets. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's see, what's our worst value shop? Definitely the 90. Go ahead and expand that. not going to give him very much. Well, that is, this, that is this decent. What if Elena gets stuck over there for a long period of time? That could happen, but she's getting money, so that's not good. Wow, this is uh, not looking good so far. I mean, I do have like a bunch of uh, monopolies now, but like when you put things into perspective, well, let's see. Kirill has a lot of ready cash right now and a lot of net worth in general. Uh, Elena has basically taken over that section on the left. And Peach, we know how Peach plays this game, so... Yeah, this is uh, going to be interesting. Uh, do I want to invest or do I want to buy? Um, I think investing would be better for right now, just to uh, kind of lock in all of what I have. <clears throat> Plus, yeah, I have that very expensive shop now, which is really nice. Oh god, Kirill has a Monopoly now. Everyone does except Peach. Which, hey, I'm fine with that. Peach doesn't need one. <laughs> Peach, you can just stay still and not do anything for all I care, in all honesty. You're not one of my favorite people right now. Let's just say that much. Okay, well, Elena got out. That's not good. Damn it, Elena, I wanted you to stay. <laughs> Would have been a lot better if you stayed, in all honesty. Well, hey, it's not over yet. In fact, the map is pretty much just beginning. Thank you, that's exactly what I wanted. Um, what do I want to expand now? 170. What's 180? That? Okay, that's fine for right now. Uh, 180, I do want to... Ex or 170, I do want to expand this a little bit. Um, actually, no. I'll, I'll expand this. Because I don't want to put in 680 and ha barely have anything. Because I'd still like to pick up some properties if I can. Okay, going to the back streets, good for you. <clears throat> That's actually good, that way you can lose some money. It'll go to Elena of all people, which is not good, but we'll, uh, we'll work with it and see what happens. I can't believe I'm in last place right now. 
Honestly, doesn't feel like I should be. 